I think this is a year that is historically important in the development of technology. And you know, if you look at the history of our industry that all of us represent, you can look back at certain years. 2007 was really the inflection point for the mobile era. That's when the iPhone was launched. You can look back at certain years in the 1990s. It's when the internet exploded. It's when graphical user interfaces became truly popular. This is really the inflection point for AI. It's been important. All of us have been part of it. But it's a different year because of generative AI. And as we look to the future, I think that there are two things just worth thinking about. First, whenever you have this kind of inflection point, people naturally look at who is creating it? Who's at the forefront of developing it? What companies are leading? What countries are leading? But it's equally important to look at who is deploying it. Where is technology being diffused? And I think especially at a national level, that is going to become extraordinarily important. I think we'll talk more about it. And then there's one other aspect as well, and I think it's a natural topic in 2023. Wherever I go, people say, let's not make the same mistake we made with social media. Of course, it helps if you can then talk about, well, what is the mistake we're talking about? And I think it's fair to say that everybody, not just the companies that were involved in, say, the biggest social media sites, perhaps became a little too euphoric about all of the good things that social media would bring to the world, and there have been many, without thinking about the risks as well. Just 10 years ago, people were talking about what social media was bringing to the Arab Spring. It was the future of democracy. And yet, three years later, in the United States, in the 2016 presidential election, it had become a very different side of the future of democracy. And so I think we need to be clear-eyed. We need to be excited about the opportunities, but thoughtful, perhaps even concerned, about the downside. And we need to construct guardrails from the outset, both as an industry and as companies, and as governments and as countries.